Hi, Jeff Russo here with the Gilson Engineering Charleston, West Virginia office. In this short video, we're going to cover how to commission the Siemens PS2 valve positioner using the software tool PDM, which is a software package put out by Siemens that will talk to any heart protocol device in the field. You'll see I have my laptop here with the PDM software installed and my heart modem here in my hand, which in this case happens to be a serial to heart converter. There are heart modems available with USB ports instead of serial. However, I have the serial unit, so I've used a key span USB to serial converter. Choice is yours. So once the software is installed on the laptop, and the connections are made here. It's time to clip my heart leads to the valve positioner's signal current loop. You can see over here that I'm making that connection local to the valve positioner, but because it's heart, it doesn't need to be right here at the valve positioner. It merely needs to be anywhere in the signal current loop. I've installed a 250 ohm resistor here to provide the necessary voltage drop to get the heart to work. However, often that voltage drop is provided by the voltage drop across the input of the control system and all you need to do is clip across the input leads to the controls. So I'll clip mine across the resistor here. And now that all the hardware connections are done, it's time to go take a look at the software and go through the very few easy steps necessary to put the PS2 into action. Let's take a look at configuring the Siemens PS2 positioner using our PDM software package. On a Windows 7 system, currently PDM runs under the XP mode. So I enable the virtual machine and make sure that my USB to heart adapter is attached to the system and that the COM port is correctly identified. And then I have a utility called LifeList. LifeList goes out on the heart data line through the selected COM port on the PC and looks for heart communication devices. I pull up LifeList and initiate a scan. And you can see that the software found my heart modem and it also found the Siemens PS2 valve positioner. I can double click on that object and open the parameter file for the positioner. And you can see that all the parameters for the positioner are listed here on one screen. To configure the PS2 for a simple linear control valve application as we did in the earlier part of this video, you simply come down here to basic settings and make your selection. This is the one for a linear valve. This would be the one for a rotary valve, but we'll select linear. And then the second parameter I choose is, again, whether my potentiometer is acting through 90 degrees rotation or 33 degrees, 33 degrees rotation. 33 degrees is only selected for short stroke applications. And then I come up here to device. and download those parameters to the device. And this may take a minute or two. Now that that has been successfully downloaded to the positioner, I can come up here to the device menu again and begin to initialize the positioner.
hit start initialization. And it would be just as if I had gone into menu item 4 on the positioner, held the plus key down for 4 seconds, and when I do it here, you can hear the positioner start to initialize. So you can hear the positioner beginning its initialization and the messages displayed on the screen during that time are shown here in this grayed out box saying initialization status. And again, customization is easy. You simply come down here, make the changes in the appropriate parameters, download your changes to the positioner, and then initialize again if you need to. We hope you've enjoyed this short video about the configuration of the PS2. Please contact your local Gilson Engineering sales representative for more information.